Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to set up Windows Server 2012 as a domain controller. Before we start, we need to make sure of three things. One, that we have the proper computer name. Two, that we have assigned a static IP address. And three, that we have our time zone and time properly configured. Here is my static IP, double checking. and my time and time zone perfect once you have all those three go to dashboard select the second one at roles and features next here role base or feature base installation here this is just in case you want to make multiple servers a domain controller you can select them all or in this case I only have one so and it's already pre-selected so I'm just gonna click on next select the role at the directory domain services add features this is all the features that is going to install no more uh, roles next next year too uh, next year now if you want to restart you can check mark I'm not going to restart so I'm just gonna click on install perfect I'm going to close here once it finished but we're not done yet click on ADDS it's a new menu added to the uh, server manager and here click on more configuration required for active directory domain services and now uh, promote this server to a domain now uh, this is a new domain so we're gonna be adding a new forest and our root domain name I'm gonna name this um, avoid errors dot home next and here I'm gonna leave it the uh, latest functional level this is the only server in the domain and also I'm gonna leave the uh, domain names server also checked and now the password for the um, directory service restored next whoops I needed a stronger password perfect now it should work specify DNS uh, options uh, let me see show more uh, delegation uh, no nothing important here click next and next again now if we were in uh, real life installation this will be on a different uh, hard drive I would not recommend it to install it on the same drive you're installing the uh, operating system. Next. Uh, next here too. Now it's going to give you the um, prerequisites. Uh, but most of them are not very important. But like I said, in real life, try not to have any questionable prerequisites and then click on install close here once it finishes installing it's going to restart once you restart you have successfully added uh, active directory now if you go to tools active directory users and computers perfect everything is installed without errors now let me see if I go to my DNS here tools DNS and everything looks good thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comment section below 
Thank you.